Hey, Guido here from Block Builders, and I want to show you guys today how to make money on Uniswap. Um, if you don't know Uniswap, it's basically kind of a decentralized exchange where you don't have an order book, but you actually have pools. So everyone can provide liquidity for tokens. Um, the tokens that are traded on Uniswap are ERC20 tokens and Ethereum. So everyone can provide liquidity and then there's a liquidity pool and then you can swap one token for another and without actually having an order book. And you pay a fee of 0.3% and that fee goes actually to the liquidity providers. And the good thing is everyone can be a liquidity provider at Uniswap. So if you want to provide liquidity, you can actually earn the trading fee, the 0.3%. And how that works is you can actually um, add liquidity directly or you use other tools. And a good way to do that is to use Zappa. So Zappa is like a DeFi dashboard where it shows you good investment opportunities and it's like a dashboard for all your DeFi platforms. For example, in this account, I have invested like $1,800 and they are invested on Uniswap, Curve, and Balancer, and so on. And it shows you like a quick overview and where your money is and how it's doing. So if you want to invest in Uniswap, I can show you that very quick. The best way to do that would be to go to invest. And then you can find all the tokens we look for Uniswap. Then you can see um, all the tokens that are traded. And of course, in order to trade on Uniswap, you actually need a MetaMask wallet. So um, if you don't have a MetaMask wallet yet, feel free to download it. It's available for Chrome in the Chrome extension store. Um, you need that in order to use Uniswap. And then you can also use um, Zappa.fi for investment opportunities. So if you go to Zappa now, um, you can see actually all the pairs that are traded on Uniswap, um, and now we rank that by ROI. There are two kinds of ROI, there's the net ROI. So that basically means um, if you were better off holding the asset or not. And dollar ROI means um, what you actually made in terms of um, investment in USD. So let's rank that by USD. And you have to know that if you are providing liquidity, you will hold Ethereum or any other ERC20 token. And so the price will go up and down. So your net ROI will be negative sometimes and sometimes it will be positive. But I mean, what really matters is in the long term, if you actually make money and if you believe that the price of Ethereum and other ERC20 token traded on Uniswap will go up, then it's good to look at dollar ROI. Yeah. And then you can see here you could, for example, make uh, 2x, so 200% in one month um, if you provided liquidity. And how that works is, and you just click on add liquidity, then you can type in a uh, Ethereum amount that you want to add, and then you can just confirm, and it will um, add the amount of Ethereum to that pool, and you will automatically um, earn the trading fees like at least part of the trading fees. You can see, um, depending on the liquidity of that pool, you only hold a small stake. So you only get a small stake in the from the trading fees. And uh, one thing I have to mention, you should at least invest um, one ETH per, per pool or per trading pair because um, the fees are very high. So for example, if I want to participate in that, I have to pay a gas fee of 16 bucks or 20 bucks actually. Um, so it doesn't make sense to just invest like 10, 20 dollars and you should invest at least a couple hundred dollars. So I would say one Ethereum is the minimum you should invest. I will reject that. So. And here you can see all the investments you currently have um, for different platforms. For example, I have some 
um, investment in Curve um, with that account, then I have some Uniswap, Balancer, and so on. And in order to figure out if you actually make made money or not, because um, the price of the tokens goes up and down, and you want to know if you made more tokens or not, um, you can use a tool called Uniswap ROI. And with that, you can actually see um, your ROI. So on Uniswap, I made 1.49%. And so my amount of ESA actually went up. Um, however, my net ROI is down because um, the price of ETH went down. So I did that here with that account a couple of days ago. So I made 1.5%. However, my net ROI is down because um, the price of ETH went down. Um, uh, price of ETH and the other tokens went down 4.22%. So you have to keep that in mind. However, on the long term, if you think um, the price of Ethereum and other tokens will go up, um, then the price ROI is not that important in the short term. And you should really look for the Uniswap ROI. So that's basically it. That's um, the things that helped me the most at the beginning to know that um, you should use Uniswap. And Uniswap, there you have tools like Zappa or Uniswap ROI, where you can actually see how much money you made um, during a certain period of time. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, feel free to use the comments down below. And if I will also provide all the links in the description. And if you don't have Ethereum, and feel free to buy them on Binance. And with the link where you can also save 10%, and then you can wire them to your MetaMask account and can actually use uh, try to use it on um, Uniswap. So thanks for watching guys. And if you liked the video, um, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.